Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Today I'm going to be swatching for you my Copacetic Cosmetics eyeshadow collection. I discovered the brand last summer through their Copacetic Monthly. I'll link my very first unboxing in the description box below for you if you want to check it out. I go into more detail about the brand, what they have to offer, as well as what the Copacetic Cutie is all about. But I basically fell in love with Copacetic Cosmetics right away. The very first eyeshadow I received from them was the shade Bouquet Toss and is still to this day one of my very favorite shadows of theirs. I'm still subscribed to the Copacetic Monthly and have since purchased many, many of their eyeshadows on my own. As of February 2022, I am a Copacetic Cosmetics affiliate. I talked more about becoming an affiliate in my very last Copacetic Monthly Unbagging. I'll link that video for you below as well. It's sort of my personal story of how it came to be. I won't go into much more detail about it. I'm just, I'm so, so excited because aside from being affiliated with a brand that I really enjoy, I now have the opportunity to try new release products and to share them with you so that you can decide if you want to add them to your collection. So as of today, I just counted, I have 63 Copacetic eyeshadows and four highlighters. For time's sake, I decided I'm gonna break this video into two separate parts. Today, I'm gonna to swatch for you the warm tone shadows as well as the highlighters, and then part two, I will swatch the remaining eyeshadows. Moving forward, I'm sure I will have a part three and a part four, and so on and so forth. So I hope you join me in my Copacetic eyeshadow swatching journey. I'm, I'm so excited to show you these shadows. These are the eyeshadows I'm gonna be swatching for you today. There are 25 of them here. It is a mixture of flakies and shimmers and metallics and mattes. So for the swatches, I'm gonna go row by row. I will show you each shadow up close. I'll swatch it on my finger and then I'll swatch it on my arm. And once I complete a row, I will show you the row up close, both in indoor and outdoor lighting. I have purchased the majority of my own Copacetic shadows. There are a handful that have been sent to me in PR. I will try to denote that as I go through the swatches. Feel free to grab a pen and paper and make notes along the way of shadows you want to add to your wish list. And of course, if you want to save 10% off your Copacetic Cosmetic purchase, you can use code It's Casey Wilson at checkout. And with that, I think that's all I have to say for the intro, so let's get into the swatches. First, I'm going to swatch the highlighters. I keep them in my Copacetic Cosmetics palette. This palette was released just a couple of months ago. I did receive it in PR. It is a magnetic palette that can hold up to 17 regular size eyeshadows, and the top also functions as a hand mirror. I do not have a primer or a lotion or anything on my arms or hands, so the swatches you'll be seeing are on dry, clean skin. First up for highlighters, we have the shade Froggy Friend, and it is a peach iridescent highlighter. I do find the Copacetic highlighter formula to be a little bit powdery. When I apply them, I like using a small tapered brush, and then I take my sponge and really press it into my skin, and I don't find that it looks overly powdery or textured on my skin, and I do have dry skin, and I definitely have texture on my cheeks and around my eyes. This is the School Bus Highlighter, and it is yellow gold. This one isn't the best with my skin tone, but I do enjoy using this one in my eye looks. Their highlighters typically come in a compact and retail for $15 each. This is the Gretchen highlighter. It was released with the Mean Girls collection back in January of this year. It is a pink iridescent highlighter with a pink base. I really like this one because it seems like a lot of pink iridescent type highlighters have a white base, so it's more of a light white pink, whereas this one is just a solid pink. And last but not least, we have Sentimental. This one is similar to the very first one, Froggy Fran, in that it has more of a peachy orange flip, but this one has a stronger white base, so I feel it comes across as a little bit icier. It also has very fine gold reflex throughout. There we have the four highlighters. Of the four, I think Froggy Fran is my favorite. I think that peachy orange undertone is just really pretty, especially in the summertime with sun-kissed skin. It really just stands out and gives you this really, really pretty soft glow.
Moving into the eyeshadow swatches now, the first one I have to share with you is the shade Juice It or Lose It. This is from their Juicy Watermelon Collection released this past March. The color of this is like a pinky red and the finish is sort of like a, it's metallic, but it's not super intense. It's like a cross between a metallic and a satin. This is the shade Eaters of Light. This is one of their concentrated flakies. So it's a little more firmly pressed than their regular flaky formula, but you still get some of that texture. This has an orange base with a blue sparkle reflex. I really like playing with texture in my eye looks, so their flaky formula has become one of my favorites to turn to as eye toppers. They add sparkle, they add texture. They're just so multi-dimensional. They're so, so fun. I do prefer to use a base when I use their flakies, especially their regular flaky formula. This one, because it's a little more firmly pressed, I don't know that it would be necessary, but I do prefer to use a glitter glue or a pigment primer or some sort of tacky base when working with their flaky formulas. This is Orange Creamsicle. It is a vibrant orange metallic. Next, we have a matte shade. This is No Thoughts, Just Bugs. It is an orange matte shadow. Next, we have Coral Reef. This is another matte. This was part of their Tropical Vibrance 2.0 collection that released in April of this year. And this is a neon pastel peachy coral shade. I really do like their mattes. I find them to be a little bit powdery, but generally a powdery eyeshadow means a pigmented eyeshadow and that is very accurate. I do find them to be very easy to blend, very pigmented. I need to build up my copacetic matte collection for sure. Every time I'm placing an order, I always start with a handful of mattes in my cart and always swap them out for a sparkly shade or a flaky, which is so hard to resist. Next, we have another concentrated flaky. This is the shade Saffron. It's a mixture of copper, tan, and red flakes. It is quite firmly pressed. I prefer to use my finger when applying the shadow, but the look on your eyes is like a next level bronze. That flaky texture really adds a pop of dimension, and especially if you apply it wet or with some sort of primer, it really pops. It's a bronze, but it looks sort of glassy and glossy on the lids. It's so, it's so pretty. Lastly, for this row, we have my favorite, favorite copacetic shadow. I think, yeah, I think this is my favorite. <laughs> this is the shade Bouquet Toss. It was my very first copacetic eyeshadow, so it has a very special place in my heart, but it's just so cool. It's like a rose gold multi-chrome. It flips to pink, to bronze. It looks just incredible on the lids. This is one of the shadows I turn to when I'm not really sure what to do with my makeup for the day because it just never lets me down. I'm always satisfied with my eye look when I wear this. This would be one of my top recommended shadows to get, especially if you're a neutral lover. There we have the first seven copacetic shadows. From left to right, we have the shades Juice It or Lose It, Eaters of Light, Orange Creamsicle, no Thoughts, Just Bugs, Coral Reef, Saffron, and Bouquet Toss. Moving on to the second row, we have the shade Enchantment. This is from their Realm of Magic collection. This is also one of my favorites. It has a light neutral base with pink, yellow, and gold flips. And it is one of their flakier formulas. I did just create a tutorial using some of my favorite copacetic shadows, this being one of them. I'm not sure if it'll come up before or after this, but I do generally like to use some sort of a tacky base with this one. Next is the shade Santa Baby. This is one of their winter multi-chromes. 
Their multi-chrome is very in price, anywhere from $7 to $15, I believe. This one is $11. This one has a pink base and it flips purple, teal, blue, I see some green, yellow. I was so obsessed with the looks Olivia created using the shadow. She's the one that sold it to me basically and it does not disappoint. This is the shade Evocation. It is also from the Realm of Magic bundle. It has a light orange base with a peach and yellow shift. And just like Enchantment, this one also has a flaky texture. I believe I have three of the shadows from the Realm of Magic collection and I love, love, love all three. They're some of my favorites, especially when I'm just wanting to add just like the final touch to my eye look, just something to really make it pop. In the viewfinder here, it's looking more pink, but from my perspective, I'm seeing the orange and the yellow. So I'll definitely try to capture some of those color flips in natural lighting for you. This is the shade Sheer. This was part of their Berry Cute collection. I believe this was released in March for $2 Tuesday. This one I did receive in PR. It's a pinky peach pastel shifting shimmer. There's a little hint of sparkle to it. I really like using this one as an inner corner highlight. Look at Santa Baby, I feel like it's just outshining all the other shadows. <laughs> Next is the shade Cupid. This is a pink flaky with gold reflect. This one is quite soft. This is more of the regular flaky formula. Definitely recommend using some sort of a primer or glitter glue. This one has a strong baby pink base and hopefully the camera's picking it up. There's lots of fine, very, very fine gold flakies throughout. Those gold flakes give it this really soft, delicate gold shift. Next, we have the shade Cyanide. This is one of my favorites. I got it specifically to use as an inner corner highlight. In my Copacetic Cutie, the Mean Girls collection, I compared it to the Gretchen highlighter because it does have that pink base. This one, however, has a little bit more of a red pink leaning shift. It's just so cool. And I'm so, so excited to use it to complement my eye looks come summertime. So of course you can see it swatches quite soft, but it's the perfect tone, the perfect iridescence for that inner corner highlight, or to maybe even be used as a topper to transform the look of other matte shadows. Lastly, for this row, we have the shade Funshine. This was also part of the Berry Cute collection. I also received this one in PR. This is an orange yellow pastel shifting shimmer. I think it's just going to be so, so flattering in the summertime. Another fun one as an inner corner highlight, maybe even as a highlighter. We have the second row of swatches. From left to right, we have the shade Enchantment, Santa Baby, Evocation, Cheer, Cupid, Cyanide, and Funshine. Don't let Santa Baby steal the show. I mean, I know it's a stunning, stunning shadow, truly unique, but all of them deserve their own time in the spotlight. Moving on to row three, this is the shade Summer Trip. It is an ultra shimmery metallic with an orange gold flip. This is the shade Lemon Water, another one of my favorites just because of how unique it is. This is part of their Shifting Shimmers collection, which I believe released last summer. 
It has a neutral base that shifts from yellow to purple and on the copacetic site it says it also shifts from yellow to teal. I think the yellow to teal is more apparent when it's used more so all over the lid. I see it once in a while in the shade, but I think the yellow and purple are the most predominant colors of this shadow. This is the shade Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. It was part of the Witching Hour collection released this past September. This one is one of their multi-chromes, so it is $7 versus the regular $5. This shadow has an orange base with green, teal, and purple multicolor shifting shimmers. I created one of my favorite, favorite copacetic looks with this shadow. I'll pop it up here on the screen for you. The way it looks on the eyes is so different, so much more multi-dimensional swatches. I don't think it ever do it justice. This is the shade You Think You're Really Pretty. This was part of the Mean Girls collection. This is one of their flaky formulas and it is a gold flaky with a very, very subtle pink reflect. So hopefully you can see there's definitely gold shifting flakes there, but it has a very subtle pink base to it. This is the shade How Wooed. There's a big dip in this one. This is one of my favorite, favorite eyeshadow toppers ever. This has gold and tan flakes throughout and you can do this with any flaky and is part of why I love them so much because I find them to be so versatile. You can just pat them on your lids and have it look really textured and flaky as it appears in the swatch or you can take some time to press it in and blend it in with your finger. And I find that your body heat has a way of melting it into your skin to make it look really, really foiled and multidimensional. You could even use it alone and spend time really pressing it and blending it in to give you that wet eye look and because of that neutral warm peachy base. It's uh, it's just it's my favorite flaky. I know it may not look like much swatch. In fact, it might even look quite intimidating because of that flaky texture, but I'm telling you, the eye look this one creates, uh, it's just gorgeous. As a neutral lover, this is one of my favorites, one that I would definitely, definitely recommend. This is the shade Butternut Squash, another flaky. Of course, being a neutral lover, I had to go and purchase pretty much all of the neutral flakies. I love all of them. How Wood being my favorite, but this one is a close second. This one is described as being a champagne-based flaky, and it has very, very fine glitter reflect throughout. So as you can see, definitely much icier than How Wood. They sort of remind me of the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow Ritz because they both have that neutral, multi-dimensional base that has the potential to give you that wet, glossy eye look. I'm telling you, if you are a neutral lover, How Wood and or Butternut Squash are must-have flakies. And last but not least for this row, this is the shade Sparks Fly, another flaky. This one is described as a cashmere iridescent flaky. Here is the complete third row of swatches. From left to right, we have the shades Summer Trip, Lemon Water, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, You Think You're Really Pretty, How Wood, Butternut Squash, and Sparks Fly. Last and final row, we only have four eyeshadows left. This is the shade Primrose. It was part of the Frosted Foliage collection. This shadow is described as a neutral sandstone metallic. This one is cool because it has this white gold base to it, but it has this cool tone taupey undertone. So you get sort of both of this warmth and this coolness in one. It just, it's so pretty. Hopefully the camera's picking it up because I see that flip so much more as it's swatched on my arm. 
You see how it has sort of this warm flip to it and then the light shines over it and you see that iciness peek through? I know it's a neutral, but I'm a neutral lover and this one's quite unique in my opinion. Next is the shade Mr. Sparkle. This is described as a metallic champagne with shimmers. It almost has a very subtle purplish pink iridescent flip to it. This is one of my favorites for a halo eye because it has that really icy base. As a neutral lover, I think these two are anything but boring. I think they're very unique neutral shadows. This is Pineapple Anise. This is described as a pale yellow pressed flaky. Definitely makes for a stunning topper. And lastly, the shade Mother of Dragons. This is described as having a red, orange, gold shifting aura with multicolor sparkle. I really love the contrast of the red and yellow on this one. It's so cool. So fun as an inner corner highlight or as a halo eye. The sparkle on this one is so very fine, so it makes the shadow really multi-dimensional on the lids. And it's so interesting because it has that red warm base, but in the shadows, it flips to this really icy, almost grayish color. It's a little bit grungy, but whimsical. Here is the last row swatched from left to right. We have the shade Primrose, Mr. Sparkle, Pineapple Anise, and Mother of Dragons. Just for reference, I went ahead and swatched all of the neutral flakies I have because that was the first thing that I wanted in my collection because I love using their flakies as toppers. These are some of my favorite toppers in my entire eyeshadow collection, so I had to get all of the neutral ones, of course. So from left to right, we have the shade You Think You're Really Pretty, How Wooed, Butternut Squash, Sparks Fly, and Pineapple Anise. I would say my favorite is How Wooed and then butternut squash. All right, guys, that was part one of my copacetic eyeshadow swatches. Be sure to subscribe so you can come back for part two. I'll be swatching the cool tone shadows I have, the greens and the purples and the blues. Again, don't forget to use code It's Casey Wilson if you want to save 10% off of your copacetic cosmetics order. I hope you enjoyed. If there are any shadows that you were really interested in and you want to see more up close and personal because so many of these are so, so multidimensional in their color shifts and their textures that it's hard to really capture them in a full swatch video like this. So if there are any that really caught your eye that you really want to see up close, leave me a comment below and maybe I'll make a reel on Instagram or maybe a YouTube short here of some of the favorites that you guys want to see. I always strive to make my videos as helpful to you as possible. So any way that I can help, let me know down below.